what the GSMA has done in this space is to actually come up with a very robust digital identity framework that allows for uh, management of digital identity for end users uh, based on their mobile device, uh, but with explicit consumer consent actually built in in order to validate that this person is who he says he is. I'm here with Jay Rajaraman, the Global Head of Technology for APAC. Now, Jay, for people who are not familiar with APAC, tell us what it's all about. Sure. Um, the Asia-Pacific uh, region for the GSMA is one of the most exciting areas of the world in terms of mobile technology and growth, and for not just for consumers, but for industrial applications as well. As of the end of last year, we had about 2.7 billion uh, individual connections in Asia Pacific. This is forecast to go to about 3.2 billion uh, by 2025. And about 200 million of those customers are actually going to come from India, uh, which is a very high growth region uh, as far as mobile is concerned. Um, about 1.7 billion of these customers actually already access the mobile internet, and that's a number that will just keep growing by possibly another billion uh, by 2025 as networks become better, you have more applications coming on, devices become cheaper, so more smartphones get into the hands of consumers. IoT is an area that is very big, the Internet of Things uh, in Asia Pacific. Uh, it represents a huge growth opportunity uh, for customers, uh, for industries, for businesses. And um, we think that you know cellular IoT connections will grow to about 1.8 billion uh, connections using cellular by 2025, if you include all of cellular and non-cellular, so stuff that's using other means of connectivity, you'll have about 11 billion of them uh, in this region. So it's a highly connected, highly networked region uh, with boundless opportunities uh, for the mobile space. And for us, um, we know that mobile accounted for about 5.4% of total GDP in this APAC region in 2017. That's, in dollar terms, about 1.7 trillion US dollars. So it's a, it's a big, big uh, number and it's a huge, significant contributor uh, to the world economy and certainly to the regional economies that we have here. So Jay, I'm hearing a lot of billions and trillions. Those are very large numbers. They are. Let's talk about the indus industry, global industry. Right. So South Korea and the U.S. have constantly been the leader in the global mobile industry. Obviously, China's inching their way up there. We're here in Shanghai. China is a very significant market. Yep. What are some of the strengths that Chinese companies can leverage? So actually, um China is the world's largest uh, mobile market um, and China is actually leading a lot of the work on 5G um, and you will find the first networks on 5G actually coming out of China, uh, Korea, Japan, um, Australia, the UAE, all of which you know happen to be in this part of the world. So the Chinese market really has the infrastructure. As Absolutely, a and you have some fantastic uh, you know network manufacturers uh, here. I mean, Huawei is one of the world's biggest uh, and most successful network providers. You touch upon 5G. So let's talk about the three major trends we're we're seeing here this year at uh, Mobile World Congress. 5G, what are the other two that you would think of? Um, IoT, which is something that I've just uh, talked about, and uh, very interestingly, digital identity. Okay. And this goes to the core of everything that we're doing today in the digital space. There have been a lot of concerns um, at, at, at a consumer level about how consumer data is now being extracted, is stored, it's uh, consumed, it's transacted. And uh, it becomes, as more and more companies, as more and more individuals, as more and more governments and societies become digital, digital identity becomes the core tenet upon which a lot of these services are then deployed towards uh, end citizens. And to, what the GSMA has done in this space is to actually come up with a very robust digital identity framework that allows for 
uh, management of digital identity for end users uh, based on their mobile device, uh, but with explicit consumer consent actually built in for anything that you do, whether it is logging on, authenticating yourself onto a website or onto an app, to authorizing a payment transaction, to validating elements of your identity beyond just you, uh, uh, as in your user ID and password, but to you know look at addresses or mother's maiden name and so on, and validating those elements which we call attributes for you know services like public health services or uh, applying for a passport. Um, all of these elements are built into a GSMA product called Mobile Connect. Today we have over half a billion customers worldwide using Mobile Connect uh, as a digital identity mechanism. And we are able to bring in elements of functionality for identity such as biometrics, such as facial ID recognition, all as part of the overall experience towards that end user in order to validate that this person is who he says he is. And what's interesting about identity is, um, what we don't often think about as consumers, is that we don't own our information in the current state of identity. We don't own it. We actually have to authenticate in a way where we just have to replicate someone else's information to say this is who I am. But you're saying in the new way of authenticating and talking about your identity, you own your own information. That's I right. I own my eyes, my, I own my face, That's right. and I have to authenticate using only who I am yes. as a unique human being that's versus right. trying to just replicate someone else's that information. That is exactly right. And that's so exciting because, you know, in, in light of what's been happening in the world today with identity theft, it's nice to know that there is technology helping us to keep our identity safe and to keep it ours. That's correct. Well, that sounds like a very challenging task because it's easy to say, I am a mobile company and I sell a very fun mobile device that provides entertainment. It's a lot harder to say, even I'm a large mobile company and I'm selling you a device that authenticates your identity and you, I have the credibility for you to trust me to do that. That's a, that's a much harder task. It is, and, and we cannot do this on our own, so this is where the GSMA has been going out to help build ecosystems. You know, so uh, we have to understand that in this age of everything digital, digital healthcare, digital banking, at the end of the day, the consumer who is sick is not going to line up at his mobile phone store to say, can I have some kind of a digital health service? It's still going back to a healthcare provider. And therefore, that ecosystem that we're helping to build through identity, through our IoT work, is something where you have multiple players in a defined value chain that have very distinct roles defined for each of the players. The operator has a role, the device manufacturer has a role, the, the, the healthcare provider has a role, the, the database provider has a role. And we have to make sure that we understand what is the end-to-end -end chain, you know, from all the way from service creation to service delivery on demand at a consumer level or at an enterprise level and stitch that together. So we don't do this on our own. We certainly don't prescribe it on our own, but we want to work with you know, businesses, with governments, with societies to then look upon digital transformation as something that is not just a buzzword that you have in an enterprise that says, you know, let's move all our HR records online, but to something that actually touches all of us at various points. You know, because all our data is becoming binary. Fabulous. So as we bring you more coverage with Mobile World Congress here in Shanghai this year, I challenge you to look at your own mobile devices and think not just about the device themselves, but what is the ecosystem around it? What does it link to around you that is important to you? So with that said, let's, I guess, wrap this up. This was a fabulous interview. Thank you so much, Jay, for all Thank those you. great insights and Thank we you. are very excited to see what Mobile World Congress has in store for us this year. Enjoy this week. Well.